Pop out. So, the video is called... What the fuck is... Don't do this 13 things in Finland or Finns will be pissed. Uh, every time there's a header like this, I'm a little bit weary, but let's see. Let's give it a shot, at least. If you're planning to come to Finland, there are definitely a few things you definitely want to avoid. And in this one, I'm going to teach you 12 of those, so you will be prepared. The title says 13 and the guy says 12. Let's... Uh, I, I think this is the time you should be worried. Let's go check them out. And if you're interested in the Finnish culture, lifestyle and language, this is the perfect channel. Subscribe. Don't get quick math. <laughs> Don't get too close too soon. Yeah, that's true. Ah, the good old Finnish personal space. The action point is here simple. Don't just get too close too early. So when you are meeting with a new person, shaking hands is fine. But for example, we don't do these cheek kisses. I would be uncomfortable with that. Once you just get to know them better, then you can gradually increase like the touching game. So for example, if you're going to have a date with a Finnish person, you definitely want to take it easy at first. Just get to know them and see how you click and how the chemistry builds up. And I think this is like evolved throughout the years. Like it's not like this anymore. Like uh, the youth of today. Oh my fucking God, I sound off. The youth of today is quite different from the youth that, for example, I was like, I was basically this, what, what the, what this person is talking about, take it slow, don't get too close too quickly. But the youth of like, 10 years after me are more friendly, more like touchy touchy. Then you can add like this slight touching and, and build it from there. Because in my. You know what? Where you can see that this isn't a Finnish like stamp video. This. You will, you will not see this happening in Finland, especially in a public place. From there. Because in my opinion, if you don't do any touching in, in the first days, then you will just get friends on. So it's kind of like contrasting. You, you don't need to do it, but then you kind of have to do it. But the We don't see that either. We just punch our friends to show love and respect them as a man. Don't be late. I, I think this is like in a lot of cultures, this is... Finns are probably the most punctual people in the whole world. And in Finland, if you come late, that is considered rude and disrespectful because... That's, that's considered rude and disrespectful in every culture. Don't be a dick, yeah. Like, the one thing he could have said was like, Finns want... Uh, Finns are most likely to be like 20 to 30 minutes early, just so they, don't, they won't be late. Like that's a, that's a stereotype that we have and we actually do that. We arrive 20 minutes early just so we are not late. It means that you are not valuing their time. So if you come like 15 minutes late, then it kind of implies that you just wasted 15 minutes of that person's time. So if you're a meeting, with okay. hey, this cow fell on me from the blue. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Five minutes late. We're, we're gonna okay. fast track this. Solid. You know, the Swedish girls are so sexy and the Swedish music kicks so much ass like mwah. <laughs> That's not a problem anymore. Like, that's like boomer problems. Like, that's the older generation who doesn't like randomly... I, I was actually thinking about In Flames the whole time I heard this. Like, In Flames you can, you can praise any time you want to. Or Hammerfall. But yeah, now, nowadays you can praise Sweden. Back in like 15 years ago, you couldn't. But don't randomly praise Sweden when there's a nice uh, the World Cup of ice hockey going on. Or the Olympics of uh, like ice hockey Olympics. Don't, don't praise Sweden. No, fuck no. So Finland shares a history with Sweden and it can be still seen even today. One prominent sign of this is for instance that Swedish is still the second official language here. Yeah, so if you didn't know, we actually used to belong to Sweden back in the days and up till 19th century. Obviously this has also resulted in this kind of like a 
more like a friendly rival sensitive because we have always kind of been fighting over who's the better at ice hockey or and these kind of things yeah so if you go ahead and just say like ah oh, swedish girls are so sexy or the swedish ice hockey team is kicking ass well i want to show you something No fucking offense, but this man right here is gorgeous. Like, god fucking damn it. Throughout his career, this is like... If I could, like, pick one man to live with for the rest of my life, it would, be, it would probably be Eric Carlson. Like, Eric Carlson is my man crush. Look at, oh my fucking god, look at this. And then you have the Finnish poster boy, which is like, yeah. Uh. Yeah, that's true. Like, Eric Carlson, my fucking god. Who else is... I don't care, Eric Carlson is fucking beautiful. Anyway, that can definitely cause. I, I could I could make a fucking homage to Eric Carlson also. My man crosses Victor from Steel Gang. Give me, gives me butterflies. Oh yeah, and uh, Henry Cavill is another one. Henry Cavill oh, and nice. Eric Carlson. Things. Again, this kind of constructs constructive conversation at this and this. And All this right, let's can be kind of nasty. <laughs> Honestly, majority of the Finland doesn't care if you only visited Helsinki and base your uh, assumptions on that. Majority of the Finns don't care. Like, we get that people go to Helsinki because it's the capital and it's like the most modern city in, Hels uh, in Finland. Of course, Tampere and Turku is pretty close, but... Helsinki is like the go-to place, so we don't care. So this is pointless. Helsinki is a pretty kick-ass capital. I live here in Helsinki myself, but there are also lots of other cool cities in Finland, as you probably know. In Dumbo, We're gonna skip this cool com so completely. Make sure. So Finns are often stereotyped as grumpy, unsocial, non ex What was the? Don't. So what was don't judge Finns are unsocial even if they look so uh, fuck it let's do it like <laughs> yeah uh so we don't care again like you can judge us being grumpy because well majority of the time we are it's not often stereotyped as grumpy it's not a stereotype if it's a fact social non-expressive people and why the reason for this is that Finns are just being Finns so we don't really express our emotions or do like this overly gestured stuff unless there's a really good reason to do so yeah we have sweets for that like so in our everyday life we might, might just be like this that's true but definitely worth it so if you have this I don't know you enough and you probably have to work a little bit and spend some time fun with people once you just first of all find the right people and get to know them better like majority of Finns has a really dark sense of humor like we we really enjoy like really fucking dark jokes the t uh the jimmy car jokes are probably one of the most popular ones because they are like dark as fuck if only there were enough mosquito nets in Africa so we could save millions of mosquitoes of dying needlessly from AIDS one of the best jokes ever Hey, I was just wondering like, how much money do you make? <laughs> this is actually a great one like don't ever ask another Finn how much money they make I don't care, you can ask me I, I will always, that's, that's the same about here I, I'm open about it. 
For some reason, money has always been quite a challenging topic for Finns. And Finns are not just comfortable talking about their salary or their money habits or things they want to spend money on. However, I spend the salary. Uh, yeah, as you, as you said that, I, I think it's like all over the world. Like you had it on Scotland. So I think it's like, it's like a private personal thing you don't want to share. But the action point here is that when you are... Don't forget to take off your shoes. Yeah, that's actually a big thing if you're coming from from a culture that uses shoes inside. We don't. This is kind of no-brainer. If you enter an apartment, house, just take your shoes off at the entrance. Because if you would wear your outdoor shoes inside it will get really shitty and muddy inside and why would you want to do that to your finished body but however if you enter a restaurant or even many workplaces wearing shoes is most likely fine yeah you can actually ruin ruin like floors in here in Finland because we use like uh laminate and we use wood on our floors so i don't know what the fucking word for parket is but let's see i'm gonna show you what i mean uh get in English English target okay so we're gonna you can actually fuck up your floor oh my fucking god by using your outdoor shoes of oh, I'm I'm on the way again but you can see here this is not my normal position yeah but if you have like rocks and shit you know, underneath your shoes, they will fucking fuck up the floor. And these cost quite a lot. It's like hundreds of euros per square. So don't be a dick again. I have been to some workplaces where they actually tell you to take off your shoes, but they will let you know if you have to do that. The rule of thumb, when you enter a park, you'll be fine. Finland doesn't uh, really have that. That's like common courtesy all that's around the world thing. again. Like not eating with your hat on. Table habits. If you just use common sense, you'll be fine. But one thing that you definitely don't want to do is wear a hat while you're eating. Because that's going to be very disrespectful towards the food and the other people at the table. For example, when... No. Bullshit. Complete bullshit. Finns are notorious that they don't fucking take the three steps to get it get to a garbage bin. They will just throw the fucking shit on the on, on the ground. They don't care. Like the Finnish trees the, the, are so the amount of litter everywhere in the woods, in the streets is fucking crazy. Oh, was it the new bar at the center? You know, some say that it's difficult to get Finns to talk. So what is talking? Some countries have this tipping culture where we don't have a tipping culture, so you can't over tip. End of story. He's feeling so much obvious stuff. Next, next, it's gonna be Finns hate it when you don't wear a parachute on a free fall. Like this, this thing again. Like, yeah, it's it's like really rude, but we don't care. You can be noisy in public. We just frown upon it, upon it, and not say a word. We will look strangely at you, but we are again not going to say a word. Like the whole list, you can you can actually. Skip the whole list and say that majority of the things in this, like, I don't know, was it 13 or 12? He, he said 12, but the uh, title is 13. Uh, you can skip the whole list and just write, you can do all of these things and none, no Finn will get, like, upset about it. They're not going to talk about it. They're not going to say anything to you because, again, we will keep the feelings and uh, the anger to ourselves. We may look strange at, 
at you if you wear a hat at a restaurant but when we're not gonna uh take time from our own uh lunch to come and say hey fucker take that hat off no we're just gonna stay to our friends like what a fucking douchebag point the finger and do absolutely nothing <laughs>